Agal, Chef Olivier here. Today, we're going to do a velouté. Chicken velouté. So the velouté is a mother sauce. You can make it with any white stock, which means I'm doing chicken today, but you, I could have made it with vegetable stock or fish stock, as long as those stock are white. So you need some roux and you need some stock. As for the bechamel, you can check our video that we did then about the bechamel. You need to have one element which is hot and the other one which is cold. Right now we get a cold roux and we get a hot chicken stock. So for the velouté, it's quite easy. You're gonna add to your roux half of your chicken stock at once. And you're gonna start by cooking that part. You do half because like that it gives you the, the, the time to make sure that you won't have you won't have any lumps and your roux will be perfectly dissolved in your stock. So when you've got a nicely dissolved roux, homogeneous velouté, half the velouté, you're gonna add the other half. So as you can see, now it started to thicken already. And I don't have any lumps. So now I can uh, add my second half of stock. And all I have to do now is to bring it to boil and let it cook. It will be cooked when I get the roux perfectly cooked and it got the consistency that I'm looking for. So something a la nappe, kind of creamy. Um, look at it boiling now. Make sure that you stir it from time to time so you don't attach at the bottom because as soon as you work with some flour in a pot, you get that danger of having the flour sticking at the bottom and start burning. And if it burns, the flavor of burn will go into your, your uh, velouté and you will not be able to remove it. When the velouté is cooked, you check the seasoning. Depending on what you're going to use it for, you can add some cream. Or you can use it as it is. Now that the velouté is ready and boiling, we're going to pass it through the chinois to make sure that there is no lumps. And this is our chicken velouté. Mm. 